Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah Robinson and I am a graphic designer and brand specialist. My favorite platform to use for creating websites is ShowIt, um, mostly because I am not a web developer, but I am a web designer. So it gives me that freedom to design without having to know all of the code. If you are a web developer, kudos to you. You are amazing. <laughs> it is not how my brain works. So I love ShowIt because it kind of takes care of that problem. And it's also very user friendly for people to learn. And this is not an ad or a promo. I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> this is just my personal preference and opinion on show it. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a pop up subscribe, how to design that into your site. So hopefully you already have a site and you already have something kind of designed and put up there and you're trying to get your MailChimp form because that's the point of this whole video. Um, to show you, I'm going to be using my own website as an example. So you'll see when I scroll on my homepage, I have my subscribe to my newsletter pop up that says, hello, have we met? Blah, 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 blah. So people can actually go in, click here and subscribe or X out of it and continue on their journey. Um, now, whoever you're using, if you're using MailChimp or ConvertKit or um, whatever other subscribe places are out there, I'm drawing a blank, any of those will work. Um, with ShowIt, all you need to have is the actual code to embed. So, so let's start with um, creating the area that you want your form to go in. For my site, let me refresh really quick. Um, it looks like this, very simple and clean because that's what my aesthetic tends to be. For you, it could be whatever you want it to be. Let's go back to show it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically, basically create a new canvas. Hopefully you're kind of well versed with show it at this point, but I'm gonna create a new canvas, the canvas that I want to pop up here. Uh, inside of my page tab, I'm gonna hit the three dots, hit add new canvas. Oh, sorry. Add blank canvas <laughs> and then that blank canvas is going to pop up here at the bottom so i'm going to double click that i'm going to name it subscribe and this is going to be my subscribe area this is where you're going to design around where we put your mailchimp for so i'm going to go down here click rectangle i need to also show my desk my mobile version while i'm doing this um Here we go, so I'm gonna do this gray, let's see, shape, style, we'll make it this orange color, whatever. Size and position, center it within the canvas. Over here, I need to stretch that out, make this the size that it should be, shape, style, yes, size and position. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in at title, Hello there, exclamation point. Type whatever your you know tagline you want to catch people, customize it to look however you want. Um, don't forget to kind of update mobile as you do this because show it has started copying the, you know, the basics of it. Like if you add a heading, it's gonna copy that heading on both sides, but you need to remember to change it on both sections. So subscribe to your newsletter. And you can add an incentive. Uh, if you have a free download or something like that, add that on here, talk about what they're gonna get. Uh, if you're gonna be sharing free tips and resources, add that here so they know why they're gonna be signing up. And then we need to basically have something for them to navigate out of this pop-up. Don't forget that, you will drive people crazy if they can't X out of your pop-up. So we need to add an icon. So down here, click icon. It's the same color as the background, so let's change that to white. Scroll and make it an X. So this is gonna be for people so they can navigate out of your pop-up. Doing it on mobile as well. Okay, and then this area, empty area, is gonna be where I put the subscribe newsletter in this case. And don't forget, you can have this look and say whatever you want it to. Please don't copy what mine looks like because this looks terrible. Um, but now we need to make this X obviously close. So I'm gonna add the action of hide canvas, this canvas. So now this X button will hide this canvas. Also make sure that your canvas is hidden to start because we don't want this showing 
um, at the bottom. And we actually don't want it to be at the bottom in general, right? We want it to pop up elsewhere on the site when people, it's like this is not at the bottom of the page, it's kind of further up. So to do that, we're gonna have it sticky to top and then we're gonna offset it. So you just do like 300 pixels to start. So we have that set. Now there's one more thing. Um, let's hide this hidden to start. There, okay. Um, so yeah, so you see this lovely white bar with the subscribe. You can see how far down it's gonna come. And when you X out, it goes away. So all of that is working correctly. Um, let's go ahead and fix some of those other issues. The background, we obviously don't want it to be white. So when I click on that canvas, I need to change that to transparent by clicking there. Now this is gonna be transparent. And then I'm gonna go back to clicking hidden to start. Where you want it to pop up on your site is dependent on, on your canvases, basically. So if I want that scroll to pop up immediately when they get on the page, um, I'm probably gonna select this first canvas. I like for them to kind of get on the home page and absorb what they're seeing first, and then as they start scrolling, have the pop up. So I select the inspired by your story section. And you're gonna click on um, the scroll actions tab. And what this is basically saying is the scrolling action, when they scroll down to this section, the action that I want to happen is I want something to trigger on the screen and I want that to be a canvas. And then the canvas that I want that to be is my new subscribe canvas. And I only want that to trigger once. I don't want somebody to be scrolling up and down my page and that keep popping up over and over and over again. So that is how you do it. And I'm doing it on this canvas right here. So this should be hidden to start, transparent background, the X is working. So let's preview it. And if show it will be kind, it should work. Okay, so as we scroll and I get to that canvas, you'll see your pop-up. And then when I hit X, you notice there's no white background now because we made it transparent. And then when you hit X, it goes away. So that makes, this is all set up for you. It's good to go. All you have to do now is go in and add your MailChimp embedded code. So I'm gonna set that up by going down here, hitting embedded code, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this where, where I want that MailChimp form to go. Now, you're gonna have to go log in to your MailChimp. You're gonna have to click on your lists, and then on lists, you're gonna click on sign up forms here, and then under sign up forms, you're gonna go to embedded forms, click select, they have several options for you. I just, I'm gonna to go to horizontal, take off the title because I don't need it. And then I'm gonna copy this code down here. Go back to show it, click on where I want it to go, embedded info, click on that, paste, save. So now it pops up, woohoo. Obviously this white background is tacky. So let's go in. If you, I think if you double click, it should pop up for you, your code, so you can easily edit it. To, I'm by no means a web developer, so really the only thing I can tell you to do is go in and delete this background color right here, um, the pound sign and then the Fs. What that is gonna do, it's gonna get rid of that background to where it is transparent now. There are people out there who can create um, fancy, you know, embedded codes for you to make these look better and more in tune with your brand. My husband is a web developer, so I made him make mine. <laughs> um, but maybe at some point I'll offer that. But for right now, um, you can basically just create this basic thing. And now when they put in their email and they hit subscribe, it's good. Uh, if you can always take this form too and put it in your footer, put it elsewhere on your site for people to subscribe more easily, Obviously the pop-up is also great. It's kind of in your face type thing. So there you have it. That is how you create a pop-up in MailChimp. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if you have questions, you can always drop them below. And if you enjoyed this show it tutorial, let me know. Cause I plan to kind of make a few more show it tutorials, including drop down menus um, and just, you know, some fun, 
things like that. So just let me know below. I hope this was helpful. If it was, um, let me know below and I hope that you come back for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.